difference in the sound. It also makes a difference in durability. A gloss finish is definitely going to be more durable finish. It will take a little bit more abuse before it gets down to the wood. A satin finish usually is about two to three coats, lightly sprayed, uh, maybe a little more, but uh, not very many sprays of a finished material, whether it be uh, poly or uh, lacquer. And it's going to definitely let the instrument breathe more. Now that's going to create a difference in tone. Also, because Resonate. it's going to be a little bit more woody, a little bit more, uh, almost Open. like the guitar had no finish on it at all, which is a different sound altogether. Gloss finishes, again, in my opinion, tend to be more focused, more detailed, and you get a more concise, where that, that open finish of a satin finish almost lets everything just spread 360, every direction in the room, just all over the place, where the gloss finish is almost, and again, this is not scientifically that way, but it gives you that uh, feeling of a more focus to the listener, to the person that you're wanting it to kind of go to, and also kind of taming down some of those kind of unruly frequencies that kind of happen. That's probably what it is more than anything, it's just kind of filtering out some of those frequencies that almost are overtones in the guitar that a satin finish will give. Mm -hmm. um, satin finish is also a little harder to maintain, believe it or not. Well, uh, a, sat a gloss finish... We have can, examples. There's lots of polishes you can put on there. And a satin finish, you need a, just a, basically almost a water-based cleaner, cleaner yeah. because anything with any wax in it is going to shine it back up and you're going to end up with a glossy finish on there. So you can see this one right here. MJ Trent Slim Ricker. a good point. Gloss is sticky. Yes. A lot of people like to de-gloss their necks. Your mic is not on. <laughs> and your oh. shirt's unbuttoned. Well, oh all of the goodness. <laughs> We're falling all right. apart here. So gloss We're is sticky. All right. uh, a lot of people like to de-gloss their necks or speed their speed necks. necks. Yeah. Um, because some people are used to that, some people aren't. John? I'll give, I'll give a, a, again, uh, an opinion on that. Well, first, before I give an opinion on that, um, I got so many opinions, guys. Yeah, I oh, hope you guys are ready for that's it. That's why we're here. Uh, this is a satin finish guitar, very lightly sprayed. Um, this is on a ma all mahogany, so it's going to be a little bit different. It's not true comparison, but you'll notice a very matte finish, almost like the bare wood with a little bit of a sheen to it. Very, a very protective thin. coat. And when you play this, it. More of a woody type of character to it. Now, the opinion on that uh, gloss versus uh, that is sticky, uh, there's some argument to that. Uh, obviously, it does to kind of tap. Now, again, I tend to prefer that sticky. I'm a player that likes to kind of get into positions, and I'm not like like just barely very touching anything. I want to work out of my position, so I want my hand to kind of lock. In fact, this last uh, two weeks ago, we did a show that had, uh, we used the new XS strings that have a slicker feeling to it. And I was having a problem reaching my spaces because my hand was moving because it was slicker feeling and I can't lock in the you poor thing. positions. I know. There you go. So there's my opinion on those. I prefer a uh, full gloss neck. Um, not that it's bad either way. Everybody has their And then there's also opinions. the look. We haven't even talked about mm -hmm. the look aspect of it. Some people like that real traditional glossy, shiny, look how brand new this instrument looks. And then other people like a little bit more of a subdued. shines while he dances. Yeah, yeah. that's in the great... But honestly, I think well, I think all of us will agree that a gloss finish we tend to prefer for tone, even above the look of it. Uh, just my pre personal preferences. I mm -hmm. wouldn't worry about the finish peeling on your neck. Um, just about every mandolin I have starts with a gloss neck, and then just out of all that shifting stuff I've worn through it, that's pretty protected wood back there. I mean, it's normally a solid piece of maple or mahogany. Depending Let's on go the even further. Uh, realize. The uh, so the question was in uh, uh, up here. It looks like on. Uh, where are we TikTok, at with that? TikTok. TikTok. All right. So I was asking, said they had some uh, uh, peeling of the neck on a J45. Is that going to cause long time issues? As far as the damage and, and usefulness of the guitar, no, it's not going to. Because realize the inside of your guitar, purely raw. There is no finish on the inside of it either. It's just protect it from the damage that you would do to it, uh, more so on the neck. Um, as far as causing any issues with, with cracks or anything like that, not going to happen. You're oiling it naturally by your hands, going up and down it. So you're keeping oil and uh, some of that natural stuff. If you're humidifying it, that's not an issue in the first place. I mean, just so those trigger. breaks in the finish are fine. It's just breaking the finish away from it. Again, it doesn't look good. Have you ever seen Willie Nelson's guitar trigger? Yeah, yeah. It, does, it doesn't look good, but again... It's not going to hurt it any, and, and like we said, a lot of people will actually go through with steel wool and take that finish off, and no long-term cause there. Again, you're oiling it with your hands, so you're going to kind of keep everything kind of naturally sealed. Just play sealed. it. It's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do, we had someone bring in a guitar that had a missing piece of finish there, and we told him, you know, he was concerned about 
actual, he, he didn't care about the looks of it. He was just worried about the structure of the guitar. Is this, I've got to get this finished because they're thinking that you know, you know, it's going to be open to the elements and get damaged. And that's not the case. It, it's the inside of the instrument is not finished anyway, so it's mostly cosmetic. Yep, the wood's been stabilized already. It is so stable. Like We've there. got another mm -hmm. question, sure. according to Keegan. What is it, Keegan? All right, so this question comes from Facebook. Um, someone wants to know, for your fantasy instrument, what would you guys choose? For my fantasy instrument? John's already got his. Well, I don't, sort of, I have it. It's, it's close. We just did a video on that. What would be my fantasy instrument? Thompson knows this. Um, Thompson uh, is building one of my favorite new guitars right now. Preston Thompson. Preston Thompson guitars. Uh, I'm building one. There's a Madagascar uh, that we recently released a video on. In fact, I think last week I said yeah. it had like star eye or heart eyes. It is one of my favorite guitars of a new guitar. Uh, I own my all-time favorite though, fantasy that was the one instrument. I was going to refer to. Is that the other one you were referring to? Yeah, I own a 1940 Martin D18. It is to me one of the greatest guitars I've ever played. There's only one other guitar that I would uh, probably like to take, and Ricky Wasson owns that, and he won't let me have it. So that's why it's called a fantasy. <laughs> um, I probably would like a Lloyd Lore, uh, Gibson Lloyd Lore mandolin. Uh, there was one in particular that we played at Starvey Creek like 20 years ago. This fella had it there that had hardly been played, and he let me play it for about two hours. And I swear, in that two-hour period, it was like opening up. I can only imagine how awesome that mandolin would sound. I have played some Lloyd Lores that I wasn't super impressed with. But I think if I, my Was fantasy a, instrument would be a Lloyd Lore. 23 you know. or a 24? It was a 23. There you go. Okay, uh, here's a quick little PSA for you. This Saturday night, we are going to have Dave Harvey from Gibson Mandolins uh, coming in here to the shop. It'll be live streamed as well on all your favorite social medias, uh, so you can check us out. But he's going to be doing a kind of a rolling history from Orville Gibson uh, all the way through the Lloyd Lore era. We're going to be showing examples, playing examples, talking about him. Really he's going to talk about really cool instruments. One of the reasons we're doing that is we had a customer bring in an actual mandolin built by Orville Gibson. And this looks like it may be one of the oldest ones out there. There's before only a few the, of them. The, the Gibson purchase. So <coughs> yes, even before yes, the buyout. Had no label. This was before there drawn. was a Gibson company. It was a Gibson Mandolin, uh, signed and dated by Orville Gibson himself. Uh, very cool piece of history, kind of showing the difference between what Orville did to the mandolin and then gradually working its way up to the Lloyd Lore era and talking about the, the evolution of the mandolin. So that's going to be live streamed uh, Saturday night starting at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Should be a very cool thing. Jesse Brock has one of the best sounding Lloyd Lores. He's a uh, yeah, great mandolin. A good buddy of ours just got one that he swears is the best mandolin he's ever played. Um, Darren with uh, Balsam Range just got him a beautiful Lloyd Lore. So that's probably my fantasy instrument. Jay, what's yours? I own it. The I symbols. Think. Jason loves if to want, learn to if play it wasn't symbols. for Triangle. wanting a different sound, this bass is my all-time favorite. What is that? And it was bequeathed Jake? to me. It is an Epiphone 1954. Four? Are you sure? Fifty something. Epiphone six. bass, it's a fifty-six. Six. Yep. Pickup sticks. <laughs> Epi Epiphone <laughs> bass, very kind of rare actually in the red finish. Uh -huh. uh, but it's a great bass. It sounds amazing. It always has and. All I want out of another bass is a 30s or 40s American Standard you guys with gut strings oh, so I can be... go and not be poppy. Slap it. There you go. Uh, you guys should save the que that question uh, for another one of these uh, and ask Jason to tell the story of how that bass came to the Chapman household. It's actually a pretty cool story, too. So if you if anybody's interested, uh, type that in as a question, and you can, can you find out more about that. Track some of these song requests, too. I've been seeing them pass by. So we got uh, Rocky Top. We might try to get to that. We'll, we'll do a, a version of that. Also on YouTube, there's a version of that played on the actual banjo that uh, Sonny Osborne played. That I with, sang really poorly. You weren't in your best yeah, voice that, that day, awful. but uh, I don't know why somebody didn't hey stop that. Have a new comment from Twitch. From Twitch. All right, I'll, I Twitch people. Hey, Please. before we before we get to that, let me. Uh, let me thank you all for joining us. Uh, this is our first Shop Talk, and if you have not subscribed to whatever channel you're watching on, whether it be Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, TikTok, whatever it is, Twitch. TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, uh, please do that, because we're going to start doing this every week. You can ask questions. We can hear requests. You can do whatever you want. Plus, there's tons and tons of other acoustic music uh, stuff, so make sure to check those out. So, there you go. So, our go Twitch ahead. question. Twitch question. Okay, the question from Twitch is, 
Funniest moments while on the road. <laughs> Uh, funny ass moments. I saw this video playing in the store the other day. We uh, we always like to play around, especially with special consensus. We mess around with those guys quite a bit. And one time, they were staying at the same hotel as us. And late in the middle of the night, they drew, they used to drive this big old. They call it yeah. the turtle. It's like yeah, this big, big old, old transport van. We got all the parking pylons and just surrounded the entire vehicle with those parking pylons. I want to tell you, we actually put our back out doing that one, too. It was, it was, those things are heavy. Those, those big concrete pylons are like, I don't know, they're like 400 and, pounds And or to something. be nice, we had to move them back out of the way after the joke was <laughs> over. So There's a lot of story. What you got to look up is called Chat TV on YouTube. There's a lot of videos. From Chap, yeah, Dash Chap TV. Chat TV. A lot of weird videos on there. We did some cool interviews back in the day. Um, we considered ourselves uh, YouTube stars before those were really a thing. <laughs> but look that up. Yeah. There's lots of fun stories. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, the one thing I want to, I guess, point out to people is we did tour for many, many years all over the world uh, as the Chapmans. And the best thing is we got to hang out with a lot of our heroes, a lot of them. And then even uh, hung out with a lot of people who are now becoming major uh, superstars in the uh, entertainment world. And it is a very, very fortunate thing. And... We had a blast. We had a great time. We got to play jokes. We did goofy stuff, and uh, you know, it was a good time. So there were a lot of fun moments. Some That's right. that can't be repeated on even Twitch. So That's right. There you go. There you go. All right. Are we gonna try to play something, or are we gonna? Uh, it's a Hotel no? California, and there Ooh. was one before that too. That I what was that? Can you scroll up on TikTok? I'm gonna have to take go. this phone call. Uh oh. It's Dad, and he's got my kids. So. <laughs> How about important? Girls love? You may want to uh, mute Jay. All right, we can do that. You want to do that while Jay's gone? We can do that. What key you want to do? Yeah, You're there. I'll try. It. We'll see if I can wake up some voice there. So let's try it. You kick it off. So how mountain girls can't love right there and can love or can't can how they can love they can they can, can love quite well from they can and they can the writer of that song's opinion there you go again i want to thank everybody for joining us here today this is our first episode of shop talk we're going to be uh talking about what anything is you guys shop want. talk well that's basically what is going on here is we are answering questions we are playing requests we're doing whatever you want the three brothers here we own a uh, music store called the acoustic shop 
And we also run a TikTok and a YouTube and a Facebook. You want to hear something clever we did? What you did? We named the shop the Acoustic Shop with a PP and an E. And Shop Talk is S H O P P P P P E. In case you guys were uh, wondering why we did that, it was clever. Now you know. There you go. So anyway, uh, we're just doing all kinds of stuff here that you guys want to talk about. Yeah, so we remember you Manitoba's want to talk about waters. Yes. In, if you want to talk about instruments with and how Brad. they work and. Oh, Brad Clubundi, I remember him. That was pretty fun. I was up there in Manitoba, wasn't it? I don't know if it was in Manitoba. He was too I remember being up there. But uh, yeah, I think he was there too. Was that the show where uh, I was in a dunk tank? I believe Manitoba Waters. We did. No, I uh, think Manitoba Waters is the ones right across the street from the inn where uh, what's his name got shot up. That's right. Uh, I can't remember. It was one of the old. Uh, uh, anyway. The, Look that gangster one up. guy. Yeah, it's a gangster. Yeah, that was really cool. We did do that one. That was a rainy weekend. Yeah, it was that was muddy. cool. There you go. All right. Bobby I just saw Sarah. a thing on that. That's, Ooh, a, that's good a good song. Guys, song. Josh Gates, you need to watch. Uh, what is his show on Discovery? It's a really good show, Josh Gates. Real true but he crime. did a thing. No, it's 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 all about. Babyface Nelson. That's right. That's yep. who it was. There you that's go. who it was. See, we can see that stuff. All right, if you guys uh, have any questions, like I said, make sure to put them on there. If we don't see them on the monitor, we're looking up because there's a monitor up here. And then also Keegan's in the other room, and he's, uh, you know, he's our other monitor. He's feeding us. He's telling us stuff. He's so. our human monitor. Uh, do you generally one. prefer dreads over concert? At first I was thinking they were asking a hairstyling yeah. question. <laughs> dreads, it's not quite a hairstyle. No. Uh, for me, personally, I do. Uh, it, Dreads I'm, trying to, I'm trying to compete with all these other acoustic instruments. Uh, guitar is kind of hard to be heard. Having the big uh, dreads usually helps. Guitar a is hard bit. to be heard. Yeah, it is. I mean, it may compare to the bass, but banjos. I'm playing banjos. light. Banjos. You got to compete with them banjos. That's tough. It's very tough. So, answer the question. Do you generally? Prefer? I generally prefer those. There is time and place still for. I prefer concerts. the OMs or concerts Concert. because my size. I'm a little. Uh, He's and a plus, I'm used to a mandolin. Little, little guy. guy. The transition. A guy. Stop it. <laughs> Transition from a mandolin to, and you, people on there say, I'm the mean one. You are the mean one. How much do these instruments cost? Oh, um, we got instruments in the store anywhere from around $200 on up. I really, I mean, we got cheaper than that. Some of the uh, ukuleles and stuff started around $50. Mm -hmm. So there's instruments for everybody in the shop. Uh, make sure to check it out, acousticshop.com. Look at, I just did that little, little plug right there. You want to specifically talk this about guitar, these? This guitar right here that I'm holding, you want to talk about that? This is built by Preston Thompson. It's a custom guitar that uh, I had built um, and did our own kind of little spin on it. It is a gorgeous sunburst. Uh, has this cool purfling that goes all the way around uh, the peg head and the neck. Uh, Sinker Mahogany, fabulous guitar. So this is a DSMA, customized, absolutely beautiful. This guitar is going to sell, I believe we talked about this, $7,200, I think. Uh, I gotta get the actual price on this, but it's right in that. This is not a cheap one, so. And this one special. is a Weber Special Limited Edition. This was their 20th anniversary mandolin. Uh, kind of a cool story with this. You might check that out on YouTube. Uh, it was lost in the back of their warehouse, and they found it. So the 20th anniversary was actually back in what 2000, uh, I don't know, 15, I thought. But anyway, it was a while back. But they found this one unfinished, and then uh, we ended up getting it. So it is the 20th anniversary, and this one sells for $79.99. There you go. Are you out of your this mind? Is for this isn't for sale. It is not for sale. I'm not but if it was, price. $10 million. $50 million. A good banjo under $1,000. Uh, we do Recording have King. in stock. Uh, we don't, well, there's some great Recording Kings. We do have the Deering Good Times in right now. The Good Time 2 is a great guitar. Or banjo. banjo, sorry, right in that price range. Also have, uh, we got in just today, a new gold, gold star, a gold star, uh, oh. JD Crow. It's a little over a thousand dollars. Give us a call. We can go through all kinds of different man, uh, ba mandolins and banjos. So uh, that's a good. Those are good ones. The way I am is a great song. You want to do that one? Which one? The, the way, way I am. He wants the Wildwood Valley Boys version, but we don't, don't know that. Know. We're gonna do our own version. Well, I kind of sort of remember the words to this song too, and I don't remember them all either. Wish I could live. No. What did I do? Probably F. We'll try it in F. What's the second verse so you can remember it? We're going to fake it in uh, We're going to fake it and see what happens. That's all it. Maybe we can get more Weber Road Dogs in. Um, Weber has uh, suspended production right now. That's yeah. why. COVID actually was a boon for acoustic guitar sales. Every builder of acoustic guitars just sold out of everything they had. And something that is well known with mandolins is there's a lot of labor. They're very labor intensive. 
and it takes a lot of hours to build, especially an F-style mandolin with the carved top and back. Um, so Weber is also owned by Breedlove and Bedell, uh, the two old hippies, and they figured out that for every mandolin that they build, they can build about four guitars. So they put, they halted the production of mandolins. Um, they will be coming back. There's special news coming on that in uh, the near future. But so we will let you know when that happens. Right now, they are all on hold while they are building, get, uh, catching up with back orders on guitars right now. So if you see a Weber and you're wanting a Weber, grab it now because uh, who knows when they'll be available. We'll try this, at least a verse and a chorus. Wish I was down on some Tried it anyway. There you go. Who knows? All right. What do we got? Got anything, Keegan? Yes. So, a uh, question from Twitch is what kind of events will be happening this year and will j jams ever come back? A lot of stuff's going to be happening. We got a lot of stuff uh, starting. It, this is, it is wild. Like, we went two years without doing hardly anything, anything. obviously, due to COVID. And now the floodgates are opening. Uh, We've got this Saturday, the Gibson event. We're going to be live broadcasting that, and it's going to be in-store. Then in two weeks, we're going to be at the Earth Day Festival in Springfield. Uh, the night before that, Tom Bedell, we are hosting a Bedell Breedlove event at the shop. So Tom Bedell is actually flying to Springfield to be a part of that and yep. to pre present uh, his company and the builds and the guitars. That's also going to be live streamed on Here all these at channels. The at the shop. At the shop. So, that's right. And then the next day, Tom will be the keynote speaker for the Earth Day Festival, which we are sponsoring here, and launching the Acoustic Shops uh, Shop Sustainable Mission. So that's pretty exciting. Yep. And then we just well, got a whole bunch of stuff coming up. up after there'll that, be lots we're of event, be, a lot of artists coming through. A lot of artists May. coming through in May. And the then Chapmans, we're going to play a show. We're doing a show. We're going to start a new concert. I'm having series. twins in May. Jason, Jason that's is That's a having, big event. Well, Jason's not actually having the twins. Yes, uh, his I His wife am. is. 
Uh, but Jason will not be getting sleep for the next uh, nine months. So good for you, Jay. Proud for you. Um, and then uh, we also have the NAM show coming up in June. Uh, we'll be going there. We'll be live streaming a lot of that stuff. So you'll be able to check some uh, and filming and all kinds of great. You know, we're going to head news. We're going to flying. We're flying to Washington as the Chapmans for the first time. The first in fifty years big, or so. <laughs> the first big uh, festival appearance of the Chapmans will be in uh, Darrington? Uh, Darrington, Darrington, Washington. Uh, it's going to be fun. That's a great festival. Ron Vince is going to be there. I know. It was booked for twenty twenty. Got canceled. Rebooked for 2021, got canceled, and now we're waiting to see if it happens, which I think is going to. Things yeah, are clearing be, up. And that's what I heard. That'll be in, ju in July. So, we got to uh, book our flights for that. Yeah. So there you go. That'll be that. Uh, will Jan happen? I don't know. I I'll be we're, honest we're with you. We're hoping so. Uh, we'd love to have him back. It is extremely hard to do right now. The store has been so busy. Getting the space and availability in the store to do jams do is really, lot. really hard. So it's not that we don't want to do it. It is just... We've thrown around the idea of partnering with another venue. to do And possibly starting jam. the jams again. Really good. So that would be really, really good. So absolutely. So looks like we're going to be uh, extending this, guys. I just got a note from Keegan that we're going to go to one thirty. We did start today. late because of some technical difficulties. Some, uh, some wires got crisscrossed and applesauce. Mm -hmm. Keegan, you got another question and song request, don't you? Maybe. Sure do. Um, from Facebook, we have a question. How many instruments do each of you guys play? Okay. Play or play well? <laughs> I always tell people, I can make noise on everything that's in the store. John can probably play the most <laughs> instruments. He started with fiddle, Yep. then picked up a guitar. Along the way, he's played some banjo, dobro, very... Poorly ukulele. on that. I play some mandolin. Mandolin. Yeah. A very little amount of ukulele. That's probably that's. I'm pretty limited. If it's got strings on it, I can make something come out of it. Usually. I can play some mandolin and guitar, banjo not at all, ukulele better than banjo. Probably better and, than me on ukulele. And fiddle, I can make a lot no. of screeches. I can play everything can I can on here with screeches and scratches. He cannot play fiddle. I'm, I'm gonna be. And you should out. hear me on the bass. <laughs> oh, I have a didgeridoo also. He does have a didgeridoo. You should check that do out. You? What's that? What's that toy we bought? A didgeridoo. Uh, Omatone. Oma Oma I can play that. There you go. What else do you play? Jason plays banjo. I'll tell you, if you have not watched yet, go to the YouTube channel. There are the banjo tryouts. We were trying to come up with somebody to demo our banjo. That is one of the best videos out there. Uh, absolutely love that. Oh, yeah. Liz, Liz demoed. Everybody uh, gave their shot at becoming the next banjo star. So check that one out. That's about it. That's it. I don't have time to play. You know, that's funny. Is, ask how many I we own. sell I some, uh, some jaw harps in the store. And one of the employees bought this one and couldn't I figure out how to make this. it work. He's sitting there smacking his teeth and can't get ah, any sound out of was, it. That had to have been Jackson. So I actually no. had to buy one of them just to demonstrate how That's to play it. It's a former it. employee. Oh. It was Alex. He couldn't, he couldn't make it work. Ouch. Ouch. That's Embarrassing. <laughs> Jim Singh Sullivan has been requesting. That's going to be a times. tough one. Hey, uh, guys, again, I want to thank everybody who is joining us here live right now. This is our first Shop Talk. And uh, if you have not subscribed to whichever channel you are watching on right now, Please do that. Again, I want to thank you all who have been sending gifts and sending all those likes and all that thumbs up. Again, that helps support the channel. Make sure that we continue to be able to do this. Those people up there as well. Uh, we do appreciate that. Also, uh, if you haven't checked out our other social media channels, there we have a great multimedia team here, and they are doing content that is completely different on every single one of those sources. So, yes, we're streaming to all of them right now, but there are some things that only go to TikTok. There are some things that only go to YouTube, only go to Facebook, only go to Instagram. So uh, Every make Thursday sure on TikTok, out. we go live while we're filming the demos for YouTube. So YouTube gets the, the final edited version, but if you want to watch the sausage being made right. in a very disgusting manner, then watch us <laughs> on TikTok disgusting. every Thursday around it's, noon, it's, 10 o'clock. You get a notification. That's right. So uh, check that out. And also, now, we also answer a lot of these same questions here. And again, we got, if you guys have questions, put them up here because uh, Keegan's watching them. We're watching them on the different monitors. We're going to try to We're answer as many Keegan of them. We're $1,000 an hour to what? monitor all the channels. So $1,000 please ask hour? questions and make them earn his money. Hello from Spain. Good to see you. Um, I can't know. remember Jin Sang Soul. I remember the tune, but I can't remember it. Everybody's asking for it. It's in C position. It's in a C. Can't be an F. That's not C. That's not C. It's a C position. I 
see, I gotta run the chorus. to see if we can do it. We'll try it again. We'll we try won't it practice again. it before then, we but we will, we will definitely Angelina go Angelina the Baker. Is Caster not working? Do that? No, it's working. He's just trying to get the chat up for us so we can see. Ah, uh, I see. Angelina. Angelina. Oh, i got to move down to A. The question is, is it Angelina the Baker or Angelina Baker? I've heard it both ways. I think it's Angelina the Baker. That's the way uh, Becky wrote words to it as a baker. Try it, Jared. But I think it might be Angelina Baker. I don't think so. How's it going? She's a baker. Can't no, I lost it. Angelina. Angelina Baker. There it is. That's the big part, right? Yep. Thank you. 
today. Oh, well. We did an A today. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna, I got a note here to invite all you folks over there on TikTok. If you would like to watch a recorded version of this, what we're doing here live, you can watch it on YouTube afterwards. And that way you can see the full cameras and the audio. And yeah, because they're making an inside joke that was from the beginning of the, bod, the broadcast. They'll get it if they yeah. watch the entire thing. I think he's saying that this, the TikTok may run out. Is that what you're saying? TikTok's going to run out of the live before we're done broadcasting. So if you want, you can see the whole thing on YouTube. And the cool thing is we're doing multi-cameras with one of them sliding and one of them stationary. So go check that out on YouTube if you'd like to see the full version. But like I said, join us every Thursday. We're going to be doing lives on TikTok. And I think that might go to Twitch eventually. This Saturday, we're going to be doing a really cool Gibson event with Dave Harvey, the head of the mandolin division, Ed Gibson doing a history of Gibson mandolins. And we have an actual mandolin built by Orville Gibson himself. It's a very cool thing. And it it wasn't playable until we, went, we sent it to Dave Harvey to get it fixed. And he strung it up. And I'm going to get to play this mandolin from 1898, Ooh, roughly, for the first time cool. ever. You want to see that. I want to see it. I want it recorded, and I want to be able to play it back every night. Very cool. Somebody um, wants Rocky it, Top. Somebody else We're going to get for Rocky Top, I and promise. Dark There's Hollow. like five of those asked for. So we'll try to get that one. People in. are saying hello from Indonesia. Hello, Indonesia. In Oregon? Oregon. Are those are the same, right? Indonesia. Okay. Spain. Spain. Somebody's from Spain? What? Kentucky. Kentucky. Never yeah. heard of it. They, I'm surprised. They, do you guys have internet in Kentucky? Ouch. Really? They're the one wanting Rocky Top. <laughs> That's a All Tennessee right. song. I know. Ouch. Ouch. Hey, where are you guys from? Let us know uh, in the comments. We'd love to hear where you guys are from. Again, I want to thank you, everybody who has subscribed or liked or done any of that kind of stuff. We definitely appreciate that. Those of you who have sent gifts, and there has been quite a few of you, we appreciate that as well. That helps sustain the channels and keeps us going. There's a whole team running behind here. Keegan, are you going to say hi to the folks? Yes, he is, maybe. Yeah, All right. She's, she's going to put him on camera. Out. Watch. Ooh, going to put him on camera? What? Hey, folks. Hey, that's Keegan. That's Keegan. Oh, oh, he's handsome. running control board with Keegan. And uh, Trent went to the bathroom. He's been there for like an hour. So. Let's talk about who those people are. <laughs> Keegan Hicks. He is our social media manager. He is the Director. guy in charge of getting us this is his famous idea. on TikTok and all these other channels. Uh, Hinkley is our editor and chief filmographer. And what do we call that? One of two great drone editors pilot. in our business here. She's also a drone pilot. She's our drone pilot. She's our, uh, She's our everything. comic relief. Oh, and a champion uh, speed cubist. cubist. She does Rubik's the uh, cube, yeah. Rubik's Cube. We've done a contest once. I think that's on YouTube. Where it, if John, how many streams can John change in the time it takes her to do the Rubik's Cube? And the answer is We're zero. We have to do that again. She's too fast. We got to uh, do that again. What do we got to do? What? I have a question for you. All right. From YouTube. From YouTube. All right. Hello, YouTube. Now you've already answered this once, but what is your dream guitar? My dream guitar. We talked about this. Um, I had a new guitar build. I would love to have a Preston Thompson Madagascar. Uh, I've shown a video just recently on us. We just released it. I have a couple of little things I'd change on that one, but it's pretty much my dream guitar. Um, new. Old. I own a 1940 D18, my all-time favorite guitar. I have one other one I love, which is a 1935 D28 by somebody else. Absolutely love that guitar. Those are my two favorite, or three favorite instruments. New, used, old, vintage, all of the, all the above. So. Very well. You you know, about your, we have somebody here from Bavaria. Bavaria too. That's a I good have one. lots of great guitars. I, I, but my dream ones, the ones that if I can only have one other thing, that's probably what I have. You can do, um, I, I saw a request for, uh, I'd rather be
ended it. <laughs> a battle to see you can play the best riff on their instrument. You couldn't get any better than this. <laughs> I, like, I like that it didn't even stay in the same key. <laughs> we can do that. We can do uh, instrumental horse play this. <laughs> no, you gotta slap it. I don't think people would appreciate me. By the way, uh, this is a brand new guitar that you can purchase, and it actually has a couple spit marks now that I've put onto it, so uh, we'll have to clean that up. I'll discount that a little bit. Uh, play, your, play your most crazy lick, Jer, ever. I, I don't... I did this once before on, there's a <laughs> somewhere on the internet something called Wood Song's we Old Time about, Radio Hour. We were talking about the funniest moments on the yeah. road. This is my favorite right so, here. There's a, it's a really cool program out of uh, Louis, Le, Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky, Kentucky. <laughs> and it's called uh, Wood Song's Old Time Radio Hour, and the host of that <laughs> likes to introduce each member, and he said, so I'm going to introduce you, but then I want you to play something crazy on your instrument, and I had that just... identifies you. That identifies you to the you. audience, because it's a uh, radio it was, and, now it's video, but yeah. And so I had just been working on this cool look that was shown to me <laughs> in Branson, of all places. Um, and I thought, okay, I'll pull that one off. And so I attempted it. And he said, all right, and on our mandolin, we got Jeremy Chapman. Why don't you play us something? And I went into this lick, and it was... And, and then I, he stopped and started again. I tried again, and it wasn't any better. So then I just kind of <laughs> went... Um, and it was very embarrassing because it it's my like broadcast to 500,000 people. It was absolutely people. awful. It was not good at all. So, so I'm skittish about playing my yeah, best riff. Due to the now. trauma of that in the past, let's we'll skip this segment. I'm gonna do my favorite. My favorite. How about that? This See, is my favorite I don't care space how bad I play. Here's my favorite space lick. It's not even, that's just notes. I'm gonna put it into something now. Yeah, backwards. I'm gonna put it into something now. I, uh, my mission is on some song here. Before we go away from being live, I'm gonna put that into something. Just how much time we got left? What is it? What is the clock? It is one thirteen. We got about fifteen minutes. No, is that really the time? Yeah, I guess it's one thirteen. Yeah. One fourteen. There you go. Yeah. We Thanks again for joining us. We don't currently have the uh, the ability for you to join us and sing live because there would be a slight delay. Yeah, a lot of delays. you haven't heard of it. It's called a delay. It's hard to sing called the delay. internet. If this goes up to space, gets beamed back to us from the moon. But you can on TikTok. You can duet us. Duet some of our videos. Do it. Duet them. Do hey, it. somebody's from Bavaria. They I just said that. that's pretty cool. Oh man, that's I love your awesome. cream pies. I'm from some cross picking exercises. <laughs> okay, so cross picking. Here's a couple techniques for that. Basically, we're trying to do like what a banjo does with his three fingers. Right hand's where it's at, right? Yeah. So you got like a forward roll, which goes from lowest to highest. Okay, yeah. then you got reverse roll, which goes bass and then to the highest, work your way back down to it. And then you can alternate them. So go forward, backward, forward, forward, backward. We do. Do you Jesse oh, McGrath? Place I come. Do that real quick. Do it. And D. I'll try it.
place like home. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. There you go. Well, let's see if we got a few more minutes uh, to answer some more questions. If you got some, we'll probably we'll close it out with the Rocky Top thing, and we'll get with that. And uh, can you do stuff. that without a banjo? Is that allowed? We're gonna do it. We just did it. it. We just did it. We haven't yet. Is there any more done. great questions in there, Keegan, that we have not hit up that you would like to uh, make sure we cover? Again, I want to thank everybody who is joining us today. This is our first shop talk. We're going to plan on doing this every thing. weekend, every Wednesday. At we will noon. be doing this at noon. That's noon central. That could be 11 o'clock your time. It could be like 1 o'clock yeah, in the morning. I don't know what it is in Bavaria. Though. I don't know. So. It's going to be late at night. It's really Ask early, lots early, of questions. Late. We'll we're going to try honest. to answer as many of them as possible, as well as a few requests, too. And if we don't know it, we're going to try it anyway, because you guys can't do anything to us. You're a long ways away. Tune in this Saturday. We're going to be doing the Gibson event uh, live from the shop. We're going to be broadcasting that live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. You don't want to miss that. It'll be very cool. Tomorrow, we'll have... Possibly another live stream on TikTok, if you guys sure. have time to film some demos and also be doing a live stream for New Guitar Thursday talking about new guitars. John will be over at the store. I will. New Guitar Thursday is my favorite day. That's where we talk about all the new instruments that came into the store. We kind of show some demos and uh, talk about some of those. And then tons of really cool videos coming out on our YouTube channel right now. Again, check out all of our social medias. There's different content on every single one I think one of uh, the plural is social media -i. The media eye. Social mediocrity. That's what go. we do best. Did we you should, have another one? We should just or sit no, and discuss no, idiocracy here at the show. That would be worth it just to That's going to be the that. next episode. We're going to talk about Mike Judge's... A reaction video to me or idiocracy. Idiocracy, yes. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's Mike Judge's Are you guys watching film. anything good on TV these days? Yes, I'm watching a lot of good things. What are you watching? I just signed up for Apple TV+, Plus, so I've been oh, watching... We Someone making the big bucks over here. No, I, I traded my Discovery Plus channel. I decided I'd done Sorry, watching all Discovery. that stuff. Gold you are no caught up on. on the list. Well, they don't give you any like limits or anything, so you can trade them out. So now we're on Apple TV, and I'm watching We Crashed, uh, Mythic Quest. It's a good one from the Better guys Call from, Saul. Is it back out? Yeah. New season of that. That's what I've been watching. Oh, have you? And I started getting into uh, Succession again. I finished that one up. Yeah, you uh, I've been uh, watching. I'm on uh, uh, Mrs. Basil. Right now, I finished I'm a that bit a couple behind. weeks ago. Yeah, a little bit behind there. It's good stuff. Yeah, hey, we're working on some. That's a good show. Yeah, it goes by too show. fast. They eat longer than ten episodes. I like Ozark. They're like, we're not gonna let people just uh, sign up for a week and then binge watch all of it. We're gonna break it up into two parts of our season. So you get half. I haven't even watched the new season of Ozark yet. We, I'm we not ready to get that. six episodes. Of it. I'm not ready for that. I also watched that new Lakers stuck. I heard that was good. Yeah, deal. I'm watching that one now. So. Uh, right. Along with the uh, regulars like Paw Patrol and uh, uh, of course, got to get your Paw Pig. Patrol in there. That's good stuff right there. Again, I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, those who have not liked or subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, we definitely appreciate that. Those who have sent uh, uh, the gifts and the various different uh, ways to kind of contribute to the channels, we appreciate that too. It takes a lot to keep these rolling. So if you guys uh, like I said, do that. Keegan is making $1 million an hour. Wow. Being paid enormous amounts of money. It's totally it's worth it. Million. It's totally worth it. It's gone up worth since it. the popularity of this video right here. He's monitoring all the different channels in the world. I don't know if we can sustain that. That's kind of ridiculous. He, he guaranteed no. me that it's going to be worth you the investment. you got to spend money so. to make money, guys. <laughs> According to him, we're going to make it back in little flowers sent to us and stuff like that. So we have ten minutes left. Okay. No, Keegan said we could sign off early. I heard well, him say that. I right. did drink a lot of coffee, so I don't like to sign off early. <laughs> we do have to work in bathroom breaks for this yes. segment. Do we? Oh, some of you guys are getting old. I that's feel like the, I, I want to do the leave the mic open while I go into the bathroom and do the. Uh, no, that's not a cool thing to do. They're, they're on to me. They got me. Yeah, I killed them all. That's a good show. I still haven't watched it. That's the only thing I saw. You're so good. That breaking news oh, happened. that was a great, great, great documentary. What was it called? He finally got pros prosecuted and then died. Yeah. That was a good one. I can't remember what that was called. Somebody tell us. Somebody that's remind a, us the <laughs> name of that documentary. On HBO, the documentary of the uh, designer guy who. He killed like multiple people and stuff. His cool. family. And then, he left, his, then was he left the microphone on when he went to the bathroom guy. and admitted to doing it all. He was You're a real Durst. estate mogul. It was Durst. Yeah. Robert Durst. Yeah, I think yeah, so. It was good stuff. Not to be confused with uh, Fred Durst. Really? What were Fred Durst never <laughs> killed anybody <laughs> except for his own crew. Oh, hey, hey, that was really me. What are your guys' thoughts on the whole fiasco at the uh, Oscars? 
What are my thoughts? <laughs> Somebody just got slapped. That's all. Put the five fingers shit in the face. <laughs> all right, let's move on. All right. I just want everybody actually tune in to just listen to us the, talk about what we The same we thing happened enjoy. once the Osborne brothers and we're gonna do got this, up on stage yeah. and smack Bobby. <laughs> so and and like, We're going to do this on every live stream. Every Wednesday, the last 10 minutes of us is just going to be us talking about freeform, freeform culture. 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 <laughs> Join in if you have anything. It'll be International great. monetary policy. <laughs> I'm gonna try A, because uh, B last time kicked me in the you know what's. How do I do that? I'm gonna try to be Bobby Osborne. Okay. So we're gonna do this most requested song off. on this live stream. Rocky Top, you, me? Okay, okay. Thanks for joining us for our first ever uh, long Shop format talk. Shop Talk. We will be back next Wednesday at noon, and then uh, check out all these channels. We're going to be going live we'll numerous times throughout the week. Yeah, we'll, we'll do better, better next week. This was just a trial. The music right? won't be any better, but <laughs> this, this wasn't live, was it? This was just a test run. That was just a test. <laughs>